for the country was then totally captured by idols and fetishes. Many Christians had even then given up their faith in Christ and had received a mark of white clay on their forehead and even some ministers of the gospel bowed down to the most of the fetishes such as Tigare and others. But after a year or two, God through the ministry of his servant brought deliverance, salvation and Pentecostal revival into the country. A revival which had continued up to this time, the fruit of his labor are now being enjoyed in eight other West African countries, namely Togo, Benin, Burkina Faso, Niger, Nigeria, Cote d'Ivoire, Liberia, Sierra Leone, and Gambia. Though he greatly from sickness, poverty, trials and humiliations, conflicts, persecutions, political and ecclesiastical attacks from both within and without. He was sometimes misunderstood in many ways and was called the bad man. But he was always rescued, proved right and sincere by the Almighty God. He was a man who knew neither defeat nor discouragement, nor frustration, and would never yield to any threat, nor disgrace, nor compromise with sin and lies. The Executive Council of the Church of Pentecost and the entire membership express our profound condolences to the brief family, Ellen Pentecostal and the Church of God for the loss of this great man of God. We reverently salute this gallant soldier in Christ who has fought a good fight. M may he rest in peace. No japa in tree. Yengo japa yamao ayuko. Well done. Nanti yo. Amen. Thank you.